We're Girls Gone Green, and we... Isabel, Hana, Nyla, Maya, Yesenia, and Anna would like to tell you why we chose Zoe Wilcox as our favorite local eco-heroine. We began by interviewing Ms. Zoe to learn more about her. What is permaculture? Permaculture is a system of design where all the pieces interconnect like a web, and every element helps support the other elements. I do it in gardens, but you can do it in any kind of system, like your school or your home life. I never heard of permaculture, but it fits quite nicely to something I once wrote. The, ethic, the land ethic simply enlarges the boundaries of the community to include soils, waters, plants, and animals. What is the difference between permaculture and dry land permaculture? Permaculture can be taken anywhere. You observe nature and align yourself with what's already happening in nature. So here, I want to catch water because we're water scarce, versus in the Midwest where water retention could cause problems. The more I hear about permaculture, the more I like it. The land is one organism. Its parts, like our own parts, compete with each other and cooperate with each other. You can regulate them cautiously, but not abolish them. Why did you go and study in Australia? Oh, I followed a boy. My boyfriend got a job to do a bird study there, and I found that I could stay there cheaply and for a long time by doing wolfing, willing workers on organic farms. They have them all over the world. I found myself a cute little senorita, Estella, right here in New Mexico. I loved her until the day I die. What is sustainable agriculture? Sustainable agriculture is a way to produce really healthy, chemical-free food that feeds the environment around it. Fresh food is important because much of our food is grown and processed far away and finally comes to us with very little of its original nutrients. Harmony with land is like harmony with a friend. You cannot cherish his right hand and chop off his left. What is the most interesting experience you had in Zambia with the Peace Corps? When we first arrived, I couldn't believe that that world existed in the same time and place as the world that I came from because it was so different and the people there had so little. At a wedding, for example, uh, I saw a girl holding an altar piece and I realized it was made out of my trash. My mother had sent me some Hershey kisses in the mail and I had thrown the wrappers into the trash pit. The little children collected them from the pit and used them to create a centerpiece for the wedding of their sister. It brought tears to my eyes to see how much we have and how much we take for granted. The rich diversity of the world's cultures reflects a corresponding diversity in the wilds that gave them birth. What are the animals like in Zambia? Well, most of the animals were hunted out of our immediate village area, but we were right next to Luangwe National Park, and there they had every type of animal from Africa you could imagine. Elephants, lions, giraffes. New Mexico's grizzlies succumbed visibly to trap, gun, and poison bait. But New Mexico's fertile valley slipped down the Rio Grande in the night. Neither will return. Why did you build a farm in a city? When we bought a home, all we could afford was a place in the city on a small lot, so that's where we started. A thing is right only when it tends to preserve its integrity, stability, and beauty of the community. And the community includes the soil, water, fauna, and flora, as well as the people. Why do you keep bees, Miss Zoe? I keep bees for their delicious honey, for their medicinal propolis, and so they can pollinate our crops. How do you water your plants? Well, we use all rainwater collected from our roof and stored in a large cistern instead of city water. City water is high in chlorine and salt and pulls from a dwindling aquifer and river. Rainwater, however, is completely sustainable. The objective is to teach the student to see the land and understand what he sees and enjoy what he understands. Who is your audience for your new book? When I write, I think about the people who want to farm but don't know where to start. And I think about women because I want women to feel really comfortable doing everything that needs to be done to create a farm. We've been a vital part of any mass change in our world history, and I think there's a mass change on the horizon. Planted pine, one need be neither god nor poet. One need only own a good shovel. Any clodhopper may say, let there be a tree. And then we feel that Zoe not only believes, but shares, teaches, writes, and lives her eco values. We further believe that we're all though alive, he would approve of our choice of Zoe Wilcox as our favorite local eco heroine. I do approve.